this ring around the rosy with these gargoyles. Uh, something a little bit of an addendum I would like to do is, uh, uh, like the one that uh, disowned Caleb is apparently called Chernobog or Chernobog. Kind of uh, reminds me of, um, was it in Fantasia? Uh, the Disney thing, the devil at the top of the. Oh, come on! Not surprise me. Anyway, yeah, like the. I think the devil at the top of the mountain in Fantasia had a similar name. Uh, Fantasia was definitely a great movie, by the way. Uh, I would recommend sing seeing it, like, just once, just for the n novelty of it, I suppose. Because it's, um, It's like... It's old Disney, it's not like the new, like, really insanely cutesy Disney. You know, the kind that makes you want to rip your hair out and poke your eyes out. You know, that Disney. It's definitely, like, really the old school Disney. So those don't blow up. Even though they have gas written on them, they don't blow up. Why? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Like, I really liked old Disney. I mean... It's gonna be really silly to say, but I think they... I got distracted by the chanting children, but uh... I think what they did to the character Mickey Mouse is just... Just appalling, really. Turned him into like a Dora the Explorer clone or something like that. Except without speaking Spanish or uh, going on an adventure. But, um, like, I don't know, if, I just feel that if you look like the old Mickey Mouse cartoons, they had a lot of, uh, character to them. Oh, shit. No, wait. What? Not happening. No freaking way. Not even with the pitchfork. Anyway. So yeah, like, the old Disney had a lot of character, and, uh, some episodes were part of a class of, um, cartoons that I like to refer to as, um, cartoons that were made for children, but they really weren't for children. Like, uh, let's see here, Courage the Cowardly Dog. If you've ever seen Courage the Cowardly Dog, you know what I'm talking about. Like, that was uh, on Cartoon Network, and it was a really fucked up kids cartoon. Um, you would see, like, really weird shit. Like, uh, one of the characters, um, well, Eustace would always bite it in the end of the cartoon for the most part. But, uh, for instance, you'd see the characters being turned into puppets, or having their heads lobbed off. Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely made for kids, but not for kids. And it was fantastic. One of the better parts of my childhood was watching that. What's this? Ooh, uh, who wants to say walking into this is a bad idea? Um, invisible. I can't call it a plot wall. It's a freaking. Look at this. It's just a wall of black and fire. And I could roast hot dogs on it. Anyhow, yeah, like. Just that was just, it was just a great, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's a bat. Do 
bats attack you? I don't know. They look like they're trying to. That's for damn sure. No, no, no. It's a bit extreme, my friend. Anyway, I'm not gonna wait around to find out. That's for damn... For damn sure. Okay, time to pull out the heavy artillery. No, no. Where is it? There we go. Fire! <laughs> Anyone left? Any in the left? Any in the right? Ready, set, here we go. Okay. Bad idea, but luckily. Fire in the hole! Oh shit. Oh, that was dumb. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, cartoons that were for kids, but not for kids. Uh, oh, let's see here. Like I said, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, shit, I can't think of any at the moment. Um, oh, shit. I walked into that. Uh... Certain episodes of Animaniacs would qualify, I suppose. It really depends upon how deeply you look into it. Which shouldn't be really that deep. Oh, ah, crap. I was busy scratching my arm. Anyway. Right in the blowhole. Okay. So, yeah, like... Like the old uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons, uh, I don't know. They were definitely a lot less cutesy. I think, like, certain episodes would fit in the category I was talking about, but, uh, shut up, music! Uh, not all of them, though. It was decent enough. So, try and open this. Gate to the Abyss. Also, I'm wasting these and I don't know why. Thank get Oh! That's not good. So anyway, yeah. Um, but luckily, you have stuff like um, Epic Mickey. Yeah, that's a game. Although you probably already know that. And uh, Mickey's Power of Illusion. Uh, Epic Mickey too. Kind of like focusing on the old style character. And to be honest, I'm actually quite hoping that the games take off. Just solely because maybe we can get something different than the cutesiness that have uh, been reduced to. Now, you're probably wondering, well, actually you're probably not, but I'm saying it anyway. I have nieces and nephews, so I'm kind of, and I have to watch them in the mornings. So, I've kind of been forced to watch this shit. I'm not happy. What the fuck was that? I'm kind of afraid to quit the load, but. Freaking hey. Oh, let's find that. Okay, yeah, it wasn't that bad. So, yeah. Just me going on a few things from, from my childhood. God, like, I, I want to try and remember, like, more uh, TV shows that uh, kind of fit in that category I was talking about. Okay, so yeah, that did hurt me. Uh, kind of like a rule of thumb, like, some of Adult Swim doesn't qualify. Because that, a lot of that was just made for adults. And, well, Guns Akimbo! Although that doesn't... Fuck, where did that come from? I'm guessing probably that. Eh, why not? Okay. 
he do wield pitchforks? Anyway, sorry for the silence. I'm just kind of thinking about something to talk about. Something relevant, anyway. Definitely, the stage definitely kind of fits in with the whole cult aesthetic, I suppose. I mean, really, what do you want? To be honest, I would prefer to see some kind of, uh... Cath God, it's giving me the creeps. I'd kind of prefer if, there, if it looked like a bit Cthulhu-like. You know, I'm not like a huge fan of Cthulhu. I like the games, so, uh, the few that actually have been released. Uh, the adventure games are quite good. Maybe I'll do those in the future. Um, I know like the Xbox game was relatively good, pending some bad design choices. Uh, Eternal Darkness is fucking fantastic. I can't give enough good praise about that game. Shame what happened to Silicon Knights, Silicon, however you want to put it. Our chances of getting a sequel are very dim, let's be honest. But great game. Uh, multiple ways to play it, multiple paths to take, uh, three paths, really. And you get a bonus ending if you do all three. But, oh, what, uh, sneaky little bastards. Anyway, but yeah, all in all, like that's a game I would recommend to you. Not oh God, I'm getting axed. Question: No. Uh, that's a game. Uh, Eternal Darkness is a. Uh, that's a game I would, as far as say, if you don't play, you're missing out on probably one of the best experiences you'll ever have with video games. And for me, that probably means nothing, but... <laughs> Come on. Oh. This is what I mean about the aiming. Oh, <sighs> son of a bitch. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're doing something else other than that. Yeah, we're going there. We're going there. Because I can, and I have way too much ammo for that. Oh dear, let's hope I can wrap this up before my time runs out. Which it is. In fact, I think I probably have to end it right now, to be honest. Um, thank you for watching. When we come back, I think we're reaching the uh, the conclusion of episode one fairly quickly. And, uh, well, I'll talk about what I'm going to do when we get there. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to be recording Little Big Planet next today. Because I missed yesterday. Which was supposed to be this. Anyway, thank you for watching later.